Robert Kiyosaki, The Rich Dad Radio Show, the good news and bad news about money. And this is a pre-record because we're, um, well, you'll understand what we're doing. But uh, the Super Bowl is in town and Rich Dad Radio is located in the heart of alcoholic country, Party Central. And we almost couldn't get in here because all the booths and all this and um, so... We'll be out tonight, too, because <laughs> <laughs> it's one thing great about Scottsdale. It's a, you know, it's a great party place, and the Super Bowl makes it even more, plus we have the Phoenix Open. So it's kind of been, it's going to be an interesting time this, this weekend in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, today, we have, what we're doing is we're going to do a little pre-promotion events with an event we're having, the Rich Ted Company is putting on a live seminar, something we rarely ever do. It's April 6th, 7th, and 8th. So I'll be there in person, and we want you there in person. It's April again, April 6th, 7th, 8th. It's going to be at the Hyatt Ganey Ranch. We're still formulating the plans for it. So stay tuned. Visit richdad.com. So we're going to be giving you a little preview of you know, the best radio station in the world is called WIIFM. What's in it for me? So that's a marketing tip. Anytime you're marketing or selling something, it's what's in it for the listener. So today we have one of, this, one of the guest speakers. The event is called Rich Entrepreneur, Poor Entrepreneur, Why Most Entrepreneurs Don't Get Rich. And so what we're going to explain explain to people on April 6th, 7th, 8th at Hyatt Ganey Ranch in Scottsdale, Arizona, is why people, some entrepreneurs get rich, very, very rich. And the reason is, is they have a team. And you're going to meet at on April 6th, 7th, 8th again, my team. And we have one of the team members today. I mean, we've, we've traveled the world yeah. together. We actually are team members. We play rugby together for the Hawaii, Hawaii Harlequins. We have to leave the Communist Republic of Hawaii. <laughs> so John, John went to school with Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we won't hold it against him. No, we, you know, sure Barack has his points of view. We don't share his points of view, especially in Hawaii. I mean, it is so woke. It's incredible. But uh, anyway, that's life. So we're going to be talking about, again, this why business is a team sport, why some entrepreneurs get rich, and on April 6th, 7th, 8th, you will meet my team. So our, the first in this series is John McGregor. He is he and I play for the Hawaii Harlequins rugby team. We've traveled the world. We're in um, New Zealand, Auckland, New Zealand, the heart of rugby insanity, and uh, our team went out on stage with all blacks jumpers on and the wild, the, you know, the, we're not racist, all blacks, the name of the rugby team in, all, in New Zealand, one of the greatest rugby teams ever. And uh, so we, we, stood up, we stood on stage with the team, we tossed a rugby, a rugby ball around and the crowd went wild. But each, each um, one of our speakers, or instructors, practices what they teach. They actually do it. The thing I don't like about school is school teachers don't practice what they teach. You know, like I remember taking accounting class in the MBA program and I knew more about accounting than that silly accounting instructor because he had no real world experience. He's just an accounting teacher, but he wasn't an accountant. So our guest today, John McGregor, his book is the 10 top reasons, the top 10 reasons why the rich go broke. And John is our expert on paper assets. So as you know, the only paper assets I have are ones from my companies. And I, I've taken one more company public this year. It was on New York Stock Exchange. It's a gold mining company. But I don't buy paper assets. I sell paper assets. So, John, welcome to the Rich Dad Radio Show. Thanks, Robert. Always great to be on the show. Appreciate it. So tell us, tell the audience what it was like being in New Zealand, standing in our All Blacks uh, jerseys, tossing the rugby ball around. Oh, it was electric. You know, the fact that we were in all blacks jerseys, you know. In Australia, in, in New Zealand. In New Zealand, in Auckland, the crowd just erupted. They loved it. And um, 
tossing the ball around each speaker, you know, you toss the ball to another guy to speak and then he'd toss it to another person to speak. And, uh, yeah, we really related to that audience really well. And then, of course we're all rugby players. So, yeah. um, it really made it a special event. Yeah, it was, it was so much fun. You know, it's, you got, that's WIIFM. We just relate to the crowd. And the most important person is the crowd, the people, the guests. So the people coming this time, April 6, 7, 8, 2023 in Arizona, what are you going to be talking about? What do you do in real life that makes people rich? Well, it's going to be hardcore education. This is not textbook education. It's like what we recently did at Arizona State University. This is real financial education that gets to the core of why people are so many people are struggling, why so many people are living paycheck to paycheck. But for my special ex- expertise is on paper assets. And I show people a simple strategy using options to generate cash flow immediately. It's not a gimmick. It's no secret sauce. It's a well laid out strategy that's been around for a long time. I just I've just been able to codify it into a process. It's the and I've said this before, it's the exact same strategy my ninety two year old father today is generating ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month consistently as a hobby. And he's been doing this for over almost ten years now. So um, I use the same strategy and now I teach it. So so anyway, for those of you who like paper assets, because they're the easiest of all the asset classes, I think. That's why so many people are in the stock market, bond market, or ETF market. And uh, so that's why on April 6th, 7th, 8th, again, in, in the Hyatt Ganey Ranch in Arizona, this year, 2023, you'll meet John, you'll listen to him, but you'll also listen to the rest of the team because it relates. The other person is very important to what John does is Tom Wheelwright, you know, his book His book is called Tax-Free Wealth. So Tom's going to be talking about, because you can generate a lot of money with John, what John does, you still have to offset with taxes. So it's going to be an exciting event because these are real people who practice what they teach. We do it every single day. So what, what is what is the secret to your formula here and all this? Well, yeah, before I share that, I just want to say one thing that I've noticed working with hundreds of entrepreneurs all over the over Oh, yeah, please, please. Well, also, give me a background. You're, 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 you're a financial planner. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I, I come from the dark side. I'm a recovering certified financial planner, amongst other designations. But I've been in the financial industry for over 27 years, working with thousands of individuals of all walks of life, rich, poor, young, old, male, female, and all 50 genders in between. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been, in the, I've been in the trenches with these people, and most people struggle financially. I don't care how much money you're making, most people spend more than they make. So whether, whether you're a wealthy individual, that's why 78% of people, working adults today, are living paycheck to paycheck. Working adults, that's 8 out of 10 people, are struggling financially. And it's a huge stress on people's minds. So I really, my, my purpose is really showing people how to turn an asset like a stock into cash flow, generating it consistently over time. And it's a very simple five-stage process that I teach. And so we'll be in uh, Arizona April 6th, 7th, 8th this year. we be actually meeting and talking to the people. It's three days long. We have VIP, you know, seating so you can actually sit with John at dinner time and things like this and actually get to know him. But this is person to person because a lot of times we hear on radio or Zoom and all this. But then you get to come in and actually meet the speakers. So um, the other thing that's happening today, why you're, you're, I mean, what do you think about the 401k as a financial planner? (laughs) Yeah, I mean, I've defended the 401k, but, you know, f- for most people, that's that's their only avenue they have. And um, they're not willing to take that step and start their own business or create their own cash flow. So it is what it is. And it was never designed to be the sole retirement plan for people. It was meant to be a supplement to a normal pension plan. And as we all know, pensions are going away. They're reducing the benefits. That's what you talk about in your book with Ted Siddell, Who Stole My Pension, which is an excellent book. So now pensions are going away and their benefits are being cut. Social security is going bust. Social security will be bankrupt in 10 years. That's not my opinion. That's just a factual statement using math. And now you have the 401k where the average 401k balance for someone 65 is around $80,000. I mean, how long will $80,000 last (laughs) when you're 65 and you're going to probably die around 90? And Biden's jacking up inflation 
by cutting off the pipelines and stuff like this. Absolutely. And taxes are going up. Yeah. And so when inflation goes up, the Fed is now raising interest rates. What does it do to the stock market? Tanks it. it. The stock market is extremely interest rate sensitive. When those interest rates go up, that is a huge drag on these companies' bottom line, and then hence a huge drag on the performance of their stock. So if I was a four, here I am, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 76 this year, and I have a 401k, and I'm counting on this, let's say I have $100,000 in it, and they're going to raise the interest rates. What's going to happen to my 401k? It's going to get, it's going to get hammered. hammered. It's going to get hammered, as well as the pension system that you're potentially going to get as well. Those assets are going to get hammered as well because they invest in the stock and bond market as well. So it's a, it's the perfect storm that so many people are facing right now, and no one's preparing for it. I think that's why this event is so critical for people to attend. It's real education from real professionals that do this on a regular basis. And one thing, one comment I will add, Robert, having worked and coached and counseled hundreds of entrepreneurs, there's a reason why nine out of ten small businesses fail within the first eighteen months. It's because they don't they don't have a team around them. They're solo entrepreneurs thinking they can do everything themselves. And that's why you've been so successful, Robert, and Kim and myself and others. We have a team approach. That's the difference of why so many people fail and why so many people succeed. Yeah. So over the next few weeks, you'll be listening to the team that will be teaching. And our teachers are real teachers. They're not like those fake teachers in colleges. Uh, You know, there's something wrong with education on top of all this. Plus, the student loan debt is killing the students. You know, as students come out, they don't have any money because the school teachers took it from them via the Obama student loan program. Oh, yeah. I mean, it couldn't get much worse than this time. And so John's going to be talking about how those of you who really don't want to invest, I wouldn't invest in real estate either because real estate is interest rate sensitive also. So as the Fed keeps raising interest rates, the, the normal assets keep going down. Now, they keep printing money, which is why I like gold and silver and Bitcoin. But, you know, you don't generate much cash flow from it. The other issue that we're having with, with rising interest rates is the cost of our debt to service the, the debt that we currently have. And right now, our debt, our national debt is $31.5 trillion. And I would urge everyone to go to the U.S. Debt Clock dot org. Watch our debt in real time. U.S. Debt clock.org. It will blow your mind. So as interest rates start going up on this $31.5 trillion debt that we have and growing, the cost of that debt is skyrocketing. And pretty soon, a majority of our income that we take in through taxes is going to go just to service our debt. It won't be long before our debt, uh, before the interest on our debt will exceed um, the amount of money we spend on defense, which is about a trillion dollars. It's crazy. And, and of course, that's going to trickle down throughout the economy and throughout people's bank accounts. And meanwhile, Biden's going to keep getting the price of oil to rise up and oil drives civilization. Oil also drives inflation. So I can't believe that. What, what is that program you have? Whip inflation? No. What was it? The, the defl- inflation fighter or something? Oh, the um, inflation protect. Uh, yeah, the Inflation Inflation Reduction Act. I mean, just look at who's doing it. That's that's like asking an arson, what are you doing setting fire to this house? Well, I'm a firefighter, you know? I mean, <laughs> what do you do in the daytime? I'm a firefighter, but you're setting fire to the house. And so, you know, the thing I, I, I ask everybody, I'm not Republican or Democrat, I vote for the person, but watch what a person does, not what they say. Yeah. And what they're doing is what Biden has done since he took office. His first act was to take away the Keystone XL pipeline. And I was selling, I don't sell oil stocks. I sell oil, period. And my instructor will be there. I mean, my my part, my, my the guy I buy oil from, Mike Maselli, will be at this event. And he'll tell you how to invest in real oil, but not oil stocks. So what happened when, you know, here I am, I have oil wells in North Dakota, uh, Louisiana, Texas, Oklahoma, and we're selling oil for thirty dollars a barrel. This is, and then Biden takes office. The first thing he does is cut off the pipeline. 
And anytime you hear one of these acts, the Inflation Reduction Act, or exactly, you, yeah. you, you have to realize it is exactly the opposite of what they're trying to do. So when we come back, we'll have even more bad news about how screwed America is because of our leadership. Again, we'll say here, watch what they do, not what they say. So infl- infl- Inflation Reduction Act is like an arson. And saying, Where else that, where's that fire coming from? Gee, I don't know. <laughs> Who's setting it? So when we come back, we'll be talking more about what John's going to be teaching. But once again, it's the Rich Dad um, program live in person, April 6th, 7th, 8th, called Why Some Entrepreneurs Get Rich and Why Most Don't. And the primary reason is most rich entrepreneurs have a fantastic team. April 6th, 7th, 8th, you will meet the team. We'll be right back. Robert already warned us, 2023 is going to be the year of lost wealth. After all, Goldman Sachs predicts you'll see zero returns from stocks for the rest of 2023. And investors like you have already made a record number of emergency hardship withdrawals from their 401ks. Now a stunning survey reveals that over half the Americans making six figures are living paycheck to paycheck. Combined with tens of thousands of layoffs in just the last few weeks, it becomes clear that a financial storm is brewing and nobody is safe. But if you think brilliant investors like Robert are letting their money waste away in a 60-40 portfolio, think again. For years, Robert and other experts have been investing millions into low correlation assets that can still climb when the stock market flatlines. And according to a recent Citibank report of the major asset classes, the lowest correlation belongs to art. That's right. Contemporary art prices have outpaced the S&P 500's total return over the last 26 years by 131%. Now you can enter this market without needing millions, thanks to Masterworks, our longtime partner. Their platform lets you invest in shares of paintings by icons like Picasso, and Banksy. Every single one of Masterworks' exits to date have delivered positive returns to their investors, with the last three delivering 10, 13, and 35% net. No wonder over 650,000 users have invested more than half a billion dollars on Masterworks. Offerings have sold out in minutes, but Rich Dad listeners can skip the waitlist by going to masterworks.art slash richdad. That's masterworks.art slash richdad. See important disclosures at masterworks.com slash cd. Don't miss your only chance to attend a Robert Kiyosaki event in 2023. This is the first official Rich Dad event hosted in 13 years. Learn exactly what to invest in to grow your wealth and protect it from our socialist government. Learn Robert's top five investments that he is doing right now, which are safe from the government's plan to rapidly kill our money. Learn from Robert's actual partners who are real investors, capitalists, and entrepreneurs. Robert will disclose everything he's doing to prepare you for these uncertain times. Reserve your space for the only live Rich Dad seminar in 2023. And the event is called Rich Entrepreneur, Poor Entrepreneur. It's your April 6th, 7th, and 8th in Scottsdale, Arizona. Welcome back, Robert Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show, down here in Old Town Scottsdale, Super Bowl Party Central. And we're going to have to go through the crowds again and get out of this place. But it sure is going to be fun tonight. And, you know, that's not the, just not the Super Bowl, but the party starts tonight. Right, John? Oh, my gosh. Downtown Scottsdale, Old Town Scottsdale, I should say, is always a party zone. But now it's on steroids. So <laughs> with the Super Bowl <laughs> and the Phoenix Open, it's going to be wild. It's going to be incredible. We're going to have to come down here tonight. <laughs> I know, tonight. <laughs> so anyway, um, we're talking about what this event is. The bad news is we're all screwed because we have drugs are pouring in. Homelessness is exploding all over America. And where are the homeless are coming from? Well, it's from the drugs. Do you know what I mean? This is, this, is, this is the most nuts time I've ever seen. That's the bad news. The good news is April 6th, 7th, 8th, you yeah. can come and listen to how we plan to get richer, even though the economy is in serious trouble. Right, John? Absolutely. That's the only way you're going to survive in this market. The Biden administration is destroying this country, and it's all by design, folks. If you think this is an accident, it is not. It's all about chaos theory. 
And it goes down to the ultimate goal, which is total control and power over our lives. And the more chaos they can put into society, whether it's chaos with food shortages, chaos with the stock market, high chaos price, with high gas price, prices, um, and now chaos with the words we use. They want to create as much chaos in our chaos at the border, fentanyl. They want to create as much chaos in our lives, so we lean on government. So we basically say, I give up. They have their boot on our necks so hard that we just basically say, okay, I quit. Please help me. It's just incredible what's going on in our world. You know, it's just incredible. So let's get back to the good news here. You know, we have other people like Kenny Mackerel will be teaching real estate. We have asset protection from Garrett Sutton. And the most important thing for most entrepreneurs is sales. So Blair Singel is one of the greatest sales teachers. And he'll be teaching how to communicate better and all that because that's where money comes from, somebody else's pocket. <laughs> you know, if you can't sell, you don't make any money. I mean, it's that simple. That's why I said the most important radio station is WIFFM. WIFFM, what's in it for me, whatever it is. And uh, that's what Blair will be teaching. Right. So John's going to be teaching paper because paper gives it a shot for everybody, right? Yeah. Um, a- absolutely. I, and just to say something about this, this team you put together for this event, I mean, this is a rock star team of professionals and it's going to be really hardcore, uh, education because if you're not educating yourself, you will be screwed. But I will tell you, no matter what's going on in society, what's going on in the markets, whatever the fed's doing, whatever Biden's doing, there are ways to make money, no matter what asset class you're looking at, certainly in the stock market, even in real estate, gold, oil. I mean, Robert's a master at this. So from my perspective, what I'm doing is I'm showing people how to take stock, stocks, and generate cash flow. For that person who has that 401k who's retiring it and has got $100,000, I can show people how to basically create a pension for life using that asset. And that's, that's, why, it's been, that, that, that's why this has been in such high demand. And that's why, I mean, your dad is what, 90? 92. 92, and he's generating how much a month? Ten to $15,000 a month consistently for 10 years. He, he doesn't spend that much at 92, no. does he? No, <laughs> this is a hobby. He doesn't even need the money. This, this is a hobby. It's a game to him. Actually. Well, it's like playing Monopoly at something or playing cash flow. So that's the point, ladies and gentlemen. We're in serious trouble. Social Security, Medicare is going to go out. The baby boomers are coming down. Um, last night, Rada, Dr. Rada Gopalan was part of the health, wealth, and happiness thing that the teachers protested, oh, interesting, but the students loved, you know, because the students know they're in trouble because they talk about overpopulation. The actual reality is the stats show there's an underpopulation, like China's in serious trouble because of the one-child policy. Japan's in trouble because now that for every one retiree, they have one worker. America is one retiree for three workers by the time in 10 years, it'll be down to one to two. So it'd be two workers supporting one old guy like me. And the good news is we're living longer. <laughs> Bad news is you can't afford to live. So if you like living in a homeless camp, get ready. You know, that's, that might be your best preparation. Because Sarah, that's what we studied today is what's causing homelessness, right? That's right, yep. What did you learn from that? <clears throat> It's, it's a not. big problem. <laughs> it's growing. It's exploding. It's exploding. You know, I think the thing that I took away from this discussion that we had this morning was the this more they, on homeless. We have, we have a meeting yeah, every the, Thursday morning on home, on not on homeless, but a different subject. Yeah, and this morning's was the growing homelessness problem, and I felt like the more the government tries to fix the problem, the, the worse, worse it gets. gets. <laughs> And and that's the big takeaway. And so where can, you know, what's the solution outside of the government? Can we, you know, I'm we can solve this problem. Right. What we realized this morning is you have a bleeding heart and you try and help the homeless and only creates more homeless. Oh, it just reminds me of the war on poverty, right? In the 19, mid-1960s, they've spent now up to $15 trillion on this war on poverty. And it hasn't put a dent in poverty at all. In fact, poverty's gone up. It's exploding. <laughs> it's exploding. But John, it's, more of a, it, it's the war on prosperity. That's what it was. <laughs> the one of the examples was in I think in L.A., Los Angeles. The city had spent you know whatever it was to buy this building to house homeless people, and they sp- ended up spending six hundred thousand dollars per homeless person that was living in that building. I mean, it's so ridiculous. And most homeless people don't want to live there. Exactly. They like living outside amongst their friends in the tents. They don't don't want rules. They don't want restrictions. So anyway, it was a great discussion, but. It was an interesting, what we do, it's just FYI, is that Rich Dad 
and the whole organization, we watch a video, and it could be on any subject, it could be a macro, it could be an oil, gas. This time we had three series on homelessness because it's a growing problem. And it seems the more the government tries to help people being socialist and Marxist, homelessness explodes, right? I mean, that's what we understood because they're trying to help them. Right, right. And I think that's that this lead up, and I don't know if it was intentional, but this of us studying these you know problems with homelessness, um, the lesson is don't rely on the government to cure your financial problems. And that's why this event is so timely because we... The goal is to teach you how to take care of yourself. Well, what we say is God helps those who help themselves, but the government helps themselves and then they take from you too. <laughs> they take everything. You know, they, they mess it up. They can't, they, they, hey, I, I, I won't say anything. They couldn't get their way out of, you know what? <laughs> and one of the biggest causes of homelessness is drugs, you know? And then they, so homelessness uh, increases in like San Francisco and they defund the police. <laughs> you know, give me a break. <laughs> and they have safe needle programs. I know. So so they're not gonna prevent you from taking your heroin. They're just gonna give you a clean needle to do it. it. And I was just in New York and those poor guys, the smash and grabs are going through the roof and they can't stop them. You know, it's, it, if you stop that guy stealing from your store, you're con- so what they do is they just lock the doors. So I walked out, I was on, on Madison Avenue. I walk up to the door and they check you out. Then they let you in because they don't want some criminal to jump in there and steal and run. But that's, that's what we're doing with socialism. Yeah, and even if you're caught with a serious crime, more so than shoplifting, by the time you're, you're in the police station, you're out an hour later. They're just letting these people go. Let them go. So anyway, let's get back to the April 6th, 7th, 8th event here in <laughs> Phoenix, Arizona, Hyatt Gainey Ranch. We don't have the price right now. It'll be around 2000 bucks for three days, which is pretty inexpensive. Is that about right, about right? Yeah, well, we'll have the price by the time this is up. So okay, now, just have them go to the richdad.com. Yeah, go to richdad.com. But you'll actually be meeting the real teachers because in schools you meet fake teachers. And that's why I get my ass handed to me by those teachers because... You know, my book here is called Fake, and um, Fake Money, Fake Teachers, and Fake Assets. I mean, why do they hate me so much? (laughs) You know, Robert, one thing I was going to say, sort of the bigger picture here, is we talk about putting a team together. Every single Thursday, we are meeting for an hour and a half to discuss a certain topic, and that's your team. And we are always studying, always learning. We are the first people to say we know nothing. And so one thing I've learned from you, Robert, is just how hungry you are to educate yourself. Constantly. I'm on this thing. It's, it's burning my brain out now. Constantly. Sarah knows because I, I haven't got much left, have I? <laughs> That's right. I've I've considered disconnecting, put it like a child uh, protection on your internet at night <laughs> to shut your internet oh, off at eleven thirty. Well, the reason I say that is because um, a true teacher, the more they learn, the more they know they don't know. And the trouble with academics, they think they know everything. That was my poor dad. So my poor dad was a professor at University of Hawaii, so I grew up with teachers. And oh my God, they're the most arrogant people I've ever met. They think because they have a PhD, they know everything. Mm-hmm. I mean, they can't tell them anything, mm-hmm. you know, but there's something so screwy in education going on, right? I mean, that's the problem. hundred percent. And that was the comment that we got when we went to Arizona state and we taught uh, all summer long where we're teaching. Right. And the comments we got from the students is like, wow, I had no idea. Um, the textbooks aren't teaching any of what you're teaching us. And they're just more and more comments along those lines that, wow, this is hardcore financial education. And that's what we're bringing in April. And so when you taught at Arizona State this summer, it was you and who? Mike Maselli, your oil guy. Oil guy. Why was that important? Well, because he was a, a real asset. I'm a paper asset. Right. And they're both important. You know, one's not right or wrong. So I invest in the paper as, and I mean, the real asset but I also take the asset public through a, through a uh, IPO. Mm-hmm. So I don't buy paper, I sell paper. Just like I don't rent apartments, I sell apartments to rent. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a difference in capitalism and that's why some capitalists, some, some entrepreneurs are rich and most aren't. And that's what the April 6th, 7th event is. 
So let's say it's around approximately 2,000, maybe 2,500, depending on inflation and oil prices. Yeah. <laughs> but I think it'll be the best investment you can make for 2023. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't even call it a cost. It's an investment in your future, especially now. And there's no time better for something like this than right, right. now. And right now, you can it could be the best time of your life mm-hmm. because as everybody else is getting hammered because they've got their money in a 401k or their real estate property is crashing, they'll be getting richer. And that's really what the Rich Dad Radio program is about. We're educational. This is one of the few things we sell April 6th, 7th, 8th in, in Phoenix. And I know it's time and money, but what else do you invest in? Or you could be a passive investor and just let the 401k do it for you. And, you know, there's no way because the boomers, the baby boom is about to go baby bust. Same as Social Security and Medicare. So if you're under 50 right now, you'll be carrying some old guys like me because the boomers are screwed. Yep. And we can't, we can't stop age. And we've all been buying houses and stocks because it kept going up, but now it's about to come down. And the Fed kept pumping these assets up as well, and now they're stuck. So the Fed cannot. The, it's easy for the Fed to stop inflation. It's almost impossible to stop a crash. They cannot stop deflation. They try it by inflating it, but this time I think it might just keep going. So this has happened throughout history. And uh, it's a frightening time. So we have bad leadership right now. I hate to say it. You know, I'm not Republican or Democrat. Trump is my friend, but he's my friend because he's a real estate guy. And he was on, he was doing a a debate against um, Hillary Clinton. Hillary says, you don't pay any taxes. And Trump says, because I'm smart. And if you want to get smart like Trump, you may not like the guy, but you want to get smart like Trump. And how to make millions of dollars and pay no taxes, April 6th, 7th, 8th in Phoenix, Arizona. So anyway, we'll be right back and um, talk more about the final, final wrap up, but this is our big pitch. The best investment you can make right now, in my opinion, I wouldn't be selling if it wasn't, come listen to my team. So John is the first one. We'll have the other, other guys on who will be talking about what they are gonna teach April 6th, 7th, 8th. And these are real teachers, not fake teachers. Hello, 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 Robert Kiyosaki, the Rich Day Radio Show. I, once again, we're broadcasting from Party Central, Old Town, Scottsdale, Arizona, and tonight's good, the start of the party for Super Bowl and Phoenix Open. And we're talking about the April 6th, 7th, 8th, so you would be having the real teachers because as I was talking about at ASU, Arizona State University last night, is how did, when did you drop out of the MBA program? And I said, when I realized my accounting teacher didn't know anything. <laughs> he, had no, he had no real world experience. He was teaching accounting, but he wasn't an accountant. And so if you play the cash flow game, the cash flow game is about income statement, balance sheet, statement of cash flow. And we'll be playing that at our event April 6th, 7th, and 8th because as Maria Montessori says, one of the greatest educational entrepreneurs ever, what the hand does, the mind remembers. So it's not going to be a lecture the whole time. There'll be different price categories. You can sit and meet the different instructors you want to. Like I said, Ken McElroy, asset protection, John on paper assets, Blair on sales, because every salesman's got to, every entrepreneur's got to sell because if you can't sell, Sales equals income. So you'd be meeting real teachers who that's all we do. And if you want to be a rich entrepreneur, April 6th, 7th, and 8th, and again, it's not going to be cheap, but it's also not expensive compared to how much money you're losing in real estate and your stock right now. <laughs> hate to laugh, but it's true. But even what's even worse is your student loan. I mean, those, those the biggest thieves today are the student loans. $1.6 trillion in student loan debt we screw the young today. What is wrong with us? Right, John? Absolutely. Between the student loan debt and just our, our overall debt in this country, anyone under 40 is going to be a slave to debt. And it's really sad. It's not your fault. It's really our fault. And if you don't live in them, you have to take care of the old guys because that's what socialism is. That was social security, but what going broke. Sarah, final words? Yeah. You know, I'm at that age where 
in 10 years, Social Security will be bankrupt. So if anybody's in that 40 to 30 age range, I suggest you get to this event because there's going to, what we traditionally know or our parents know as that safety net won't exist. So it's best to protect yourself now. And, and then the 401k, who stole my pension? All the firefighters, teachers, uh, police officers, their pensions are gone. And it's going to accelerate. It's so like I said, the Fed has tried to stop inflation, but they cannot stop a crash. That's the problem. Final words, John. Yeah, I was just going to say, you know, the reason your accountant teacher is teaching accounting rather than putting it into real practice because he's not smart enough to figure out how to do that. That's why he's teaching it, right? Rather than using it in a business or his own accounting firm or what have you. And that's why I think this event is so powerful is because you have professionals, experts, authors that actually put their knowledge into practice. And uh, that's why this is, I'm really excited to be a part of this. It's going to be a lot, a it's lot gonna, of fun. It's, it's going to be fun. You meet real people and all this, but the, again, this is the, Last night was the epitome of rich dad, poor dad. I went into enemy territory, poor dad country, college professors and all this. 37 of them signed petitions against us. And that's what's going on in education today. And you wonder why they don't teach financial education in school? Because they don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is the final, 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 final word on it. When they talk about $31 trillion deficit, the real, the real off balance sheet with Social Security, Medicare, and pensions is almost three hundred trillion, and when they go bust, that's what the taxpayer will have to pay for. So basically, America's toast anyway. And what John teaches is how you get rich, no matter which way the market goes, up or down. Kenny McElroy, our, our legal guys, our tax guys will be all on hand April sixth, seventh, and eighth. So stay tuned. They'll be coming on the radio show over the next few weeks to ex explain to you why this is your best investment you can make for 2023. And tonight we party on at the party here. <laughs> party on. Okay, right. thanks for listening to the Rich Dad Radio Show.